Greetings and hello and of course, as always, a, a very warm welcome to everyone joining us here as we bring you a live football. It's under 21 friendlies day here in Frankfurt as Germany's under 21s prepare for the European Championships in the summer in Romania and Georgia. Two games left before the big tournament and two more opportunities for them to just fine-tune everything before they head there to try and defend their title up against Japan's under-22 squad here this afternoon in Frankfurt before the action can get underway as is the norm it is time for the national anthems of course before what should be a very interesting and entertaining encounter between two very talented young sides. Germany, of course, taking on Romania next. First, we'll kick things off here with the national anthem of Japan. Samurai Blue with their fans in attendance as well. Fantastic to see them They're supporting their side, their country. Next up, Team Germany. have it the pleasantries out of the way Antonio De Salvo stating before the game just how big these two friendlies are in the preparations for the European Championships in the summer as we take a look at the lineup and the likes of Ngankam, Knauf, Baya and Alidu all coming into the starting lineup a number of players being called up into the first team as well no Schade, Wagnermann, Tiao and Mecha. So uh, a chance for some of the others to come in and impress the manager. Here in this early evening game in the PSD Bank Arena in uh, Frankfurt. Antonio De Salvo there and Oiago, the two men in charge. sets of players as well so just going through the lineups for you once more we'll take a look at the Japanese side Kato Kimura, Nishio and Uchino looking up the back four Yamamoto the captain alongside Kawasaki in central midfield with Sato, Suzuki and Yamada from left to right in attacking midfield Hosoya the lone striker up front leading the line for Samurai Blue looking back at Germany's lineup 
Just in case you did miss it, Atubolu starting in goal. And Fischer, Bayer, Bisek and Katterbach, the back four, the captain Keitel. The link between defence and midfield sitting in front of that back four with Kraus and Hussein Barzic in front of him. And Knauf out on the right wing, Alidu on the left and then Ganka, the number nine leading the line up front for the Germany under 21 side. Funnily enough, Japan's under-21s or under-22s unbeaten against Germany's under-21 sides over the years. Last meeting coming back in 2007, Japan winning 2-1 on the day. The meeting before that, all the way back in 2002, which ended in a three-all draw. Germany coming from 3-1 down to level things up. Today be the day they get their first win against the Japanese youngsters. Germany's under-21 side, a team in fine form, especially on the European stage, current defending European champions. Finished at top of Group B in the qualifying stages. get underway in June they will be in Group C of the finals with the likes of the Czech Republic England and Israel so by no means an easy group first game will uh, get underway on the 22nd of June against Israel before taking on the Czech Republic and then a final group game on the 28th against England could be a massive, massive encounter. Oh, Fisher is getting his tape sorted before the action does get underway here. Under the nose of his manager, Antonio De Salvo. Here we go, Germany playing uh, from left to right here in the first 45. Uh, quickly closed down there by Suzuki. Straight into the hands of Atubolu though. Uh, ball down the line there from Fischer looking to then come up with Nganka. Just a little too much fizz on that ball. Had the right idea though. of play there. Cut up with the a long throw down the line. Soya will chase. Bisek able uh, to deal with the danger there. Bayer back to Atubolu. Puts his boot through it and sends the ball upfield. Knauf, player in fine form this season. He has become one of the standout players of this under-21 squad. Big things expected from him at the European Championships in the summer. Will be one of the go-to players up front for Antonio Di Salvo. Tempo start to this game. Japan with a very high press, closing down the ball quickly. Very much their style of play, energetic from start to finish. 
Easy catch there for Suzuki, their goalkeeper. And a long throw. Trying to bring Sato into play with a quick transition into attack there. Germany well positioned to deal with that as well. Up. One side now with Suzuki, who runs into trouble. Ali Du looking to break forward, now perhaps with a little bit of help from his striker, Gankamp. Again, a misplaced pass, asking a lot of the uh, Germany right winger. Well, as good as this, Germany under 21 side are to face a very tough task in today, Japan. One of the powerhouses of Asian football. Really good showing of themselves at the World Cup as well. Some massive results there. The youth sides gradually improving year on year. Some very exciting players coming through the system. Already very apparent, Japan not allowing Germany to move the ball forward easily, covering a lot of ground, occupying those pockets of space, making it difficult to play their way out from the back. The ball forward there, he's had his heels clipped. Nganka, Yamamoto not convinced by the referee's decision, but this one has gone. Germany have the free kick, looking to take it quickly. Deciding against that, we'll leave it to their captain, Yannick Keitel. Germany with plenty of possession. Already the majority of it though inside their own half. Japan looking to nick the ball away if and when possible. So dangerous on the counter and that transition as they do win the ball back or cause opposition problems. So good at just piling players forward and knowing when to do so. Timing of those transitions is second to none, really. Definitely something Germany are going to have to keep an eye on and be wary of. Germany giving them a taste of their own medicine here. Chance from the left side in towards Ansgar Knauf. Does manage to hold on to it. Into the box, chance for Fischer here. Gets the shot off but sees it blocked. Japan able to get the ball clear and away from danger but can't hold on to it. Bisek. Aledu. Caught in possession. A little battle there between him and Sato. Nishio. Right to Uchino. Right to Nishio once more. Japan with their first real opportunity to build an attack of their own. Uh, more than two or three passes together. The 
There's a little layoff there. Ogino powering forward down the right flank. Looking for the one-two. Fine, fine tackle, though. Puts an end to any sort of an attack at that time. And ball nicked away there. And for a moment, like uh, Hussein Bazic might be in a bit of trouble. The whistle does go. Much to the delight of Antonio Di Salvo and company, I'm sure. Gun come. Oh, lovely turn. Gets the shot off, and it's a tap in, or is it? Well, 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 what a save that is by Suzuki. A golden opportunity for Alidu to give Germany the lead. Really should be scoring from there. Credit to Suzuki for getting back across and making the save. Alidu will not be happy with himself. Sort of play it back into the centre of goal. And a, a good height for Suzuki as well. Best and first real chance of the game. All into Antonio Di Salvo's side. And there's Faride Alidu again. Fisher with the cross in towards the near post and very nearly catching Suzuki out of position. Again, Japanese goalkeeper very quick to get across. Germany starting to look more and more dangerous. Ten minutes gone. Here comes the delivery from this near side, punched away by Suzuki. Alidu. The header on. Back out to Ansgar Knauf. Any ball in, Alidu takes it on for a second time, forcing that gang come, but can't control it. And Kimura with the block, well on his backside, I think. Better look at it here. And coming up his teammate Kawasaki. Sticks a boot out. Trying to get it away from danger, Germany. Running on the pressure now, though, but this place pass there from the edge of the penalty area from Fischer. Is that wave of attack come to an abrupt end? Promising stuff, though, from Antonio Di Salvo's side. Although he'll feel there should be a goal up already. So, too, will uh, Faride Alidu. Youngsters in attendance here. Yeah. Here's the Bank Arena here in Frankfurt. Not a bad way to spend an early Friday evening. Perhaps one or two future under 21 stars in the crowd. Who knows? Suzuki. The clearance, the distribution there from the Japan goalkeeper. And their standout player so far. Oh, nice. Kaito quickly closed down there.
Breakaway on here. Good tackle there on Suzuki. Not too many options, but Pisek able to deal with it. to Uchino. Attempted a switch of play there, doesn't quite come off. The best clearance either on Fisher. In the end, Germany with the goal kick. Almost quarter of an hour gone now here in Frankfurt. And at Germany. With all the chances, that the pick of the bunch. Fadide Alidu. His seventh appearance in the under 21s. Would have been his first goal. Breakaway is on here. Oh, Germany looking for options there, Klaus. Actually, finds support in the form of Kimian Fischer. Gets the ball back from Alidu. Does enough to win the corner as well. And in the end, ball taking a wicked little bounce off the uh, surface there, which didn't help either player really. Comes the delivery towards the near posts. Header away, back into the box from Knauf. And Bisek tries to head it on, looking for a teammate, but a little too much mustard in that one. into space through the middle out wide now to Alidu it's the cross in sends it deep Back across the middle from Knauf in acrobatic fashion coming behind him and have to come up with something That's exactly what he did there cheaply chance for Japan perhaps to make something happen
So Rye Blue unable to keep the ball in play there. to uh, Ansgar Knauf to be more specific. Seems to have one or two fans in the crowd. Currently with Eintracht Frankfurt. Ansgar Knauf. No surprise that he's got a few fans here. From the BVB youth setup. A chance for Germany. Dan Cup. Able to hold on to it, then tries to toe poke it from an acute angle. Sea of uh, blue shirts ahead of him, though, and in the way. Germany with another chance. Trying to make something happen here. Same Barzic, wide to Knauf. Cuts back inside. Not a bad delivery towards the back post, but probably a little too close to the keeper. Balls there from Kato, major pattern left back. Tanzi Flick in attendance. Germany first team manager and coach. Just like to dip into the under 21 pond when he can. So many talented players, so not a surprise really. Do not happy with the decision going Japan's way there. That's a ball. Sec just about holds on to the ball. Can't hold to Killian Fisher. Funny day, Ali do. It's the ball back. So a little dink over the top. I saw the run from Katerbach who just put the brakes on it all of a sudden. Slight misunderstanding between the two.
24 minutes gone here in Frankfurt, Germany. Just edging it on chances and opportunities to take the lead. Oh, you are got watching on from the sidelines. Won't be too disappointed. This team's performance, energy levels have been there. They come powering down the left side. Chance to get the shot off and a big, big tackle there. Ian Fisher just getting his toe to the ball there. Great sliding tackle. Actually comes off the studs. Out for a Japan corner. Like he might have just been curling that one into the bottom right corner. So an important tackle. Solid defending, defending there from the EFL of Wolfsburg youngster. Suzuki with the corner from the far side. Good looking delivery, punched away by Atubolu. The ball traveling out of play on its way into the box. to uh, Bisek. A little heavy on the search there. Young come. Struggling to hold on to the ball inside the Germany half. Just rushing things slightly in that final third. Final ball not quite up to scratch so far. Germany far more effective at linking up in dangerous positions. Struggle to bridge that gap between attack and defence. Japanese side. Defensively though, made life easy for Germany. Muscled off the ball, but the chance still here, and Atubolu called into action. Makes a fantastic save to deny Yamamoto, the Japan captain. Really well taken shot there. From Yamamoto. Plays his trade in Japan with Gamba Osaka. 21 year old, a rising star in Japanese football. Really nearly getting his name on the score sheet as he makes his way over to this near corner. Bollock hasn't had anything to do so far. Is ready when needed. Yamamoto towards the near post. Didn't really get much lift on that. All comes back out to him. That's an outside position when it did.
Germany do have one more game before the Euros in the summer to try and fine tune things. A game coming up on that Tuesday against Romania, one of the two hosts of this summer's European Championships. Fischer trying to cut it back inside there. Looking for Kraus who would have been in acres of space inside the penalty area. Germany do come away with a corner though. Decent cross. It was blocked. It's come back out to Katterbach. Does well to just flow one towards the back post. Now the chance for oh, Kraus. He gets the shot off but can't find the target with a block. Putting it out for yet another Germany corner. As they continue to pile on the pressure here. Quarter of an hour still to go before the half time whistle. Germany just starting to tighten the screw a little. Ansgar Knapp from the far side. Plenty of height on that one. Suzuki comes out to try and punch it away, but misses the ball completely. Eventually put out of play on this near side for a Germany throw. Ayuchino, the right back. Up, pulling out of that challenge at all on the Germany captain. And again brought down. This all stays by the referee's side as Japan. It's a fizz one through the middle. Danger not over just yet, or is it? Ball out of play. That will be a goal kick. Very nearly a lovely through ball there from Saito. Should have probably been a free kick for Germany. I can understand Keitel's frustrations. The ball there looking for Hosoya. Far away from finding it, vital interception. A reminder there for Germany, just how dangerous Japan can be on the counter. Knauf lays it off, back to Knauf once more. Just dinks one. Head towards Jessica Nganka. Too much height on it. Oh, Germany number nine in the end though. Well, uh, get the feeling it'll be a slightly mixed bag of emotions. Antonio Di Salvo. I think he'll be happy with the performance overall. Really good energy, good tempo, good link up play. Creating chances. Looking dangerous in that final third. The only problem is the chances they have created, they haven't taken can be ever so costly in football. Nice place pass there. 
Gino the target, but not too far ahead of the right back. He's such a well-oiled machine when it comes to the counter. Transition into attack. Lightning speed. I've seen a few examples of it here this evening, but it doesn't seem to be firing on all cylinders just yet, but at nil-nil. Still well and truly in this game. And will he come forward once more? Fist in towards that near post and can come closest to it, but one player even closer. Suzuki the goalkeeper. Been impressive. <laughs> Zion Suzuki, the Japan under twenty two goalkeeper. Urawa Red Diamonds in the, the J1 League. He's been on the bench five times this season, yet to make an appearance for the first team, though. Stayed down here. To ball a quick off his line though. He's wanted to read the situation early. Well, foul throw quite clearly. <laughs> yeah, from Kato. to Hussein Basic. There's a bit of space to work with. Katabach there in support. Easily past the first defender in front of him. Forward there, then picks out Ansgar Knauf. He loses his defender with ease. He's in gun calm, able to get the shot off, and then pinballs its way in and around the goalkeeper's touchline there. Ooh, that looks like a penalty. And the referee wasting absolutely no time in blowing his whistle. It's a Jessica Nganka who wins it. Looked like a stone cold penalty straight away. We'll get a better look at it here. Put up her body strength there to hold on to the ball and then Gino. His timing is tackle. Comes through the back of the left leg there of Jessica Nganka. And that's a penalty all day long. And it will be Germany's number nine. And take it. And hopefully give them the lead here. Can come with a chance of a goal on his debut for the under-21s. 
out of BST, a youngster. He gets to get his name on the score sheet for the first time. Zion Suzuki in goal has been impressive. Can he come up with another save? Or Japan, this would be the biggest of them so far. Gun comes, steps up and slots it home. Cool as a cucumber. Just puts the brakes on his run up for a moment. Looking to send the goalkeeper the wrong way, but he didn't have to in the end because it's a well placed strike with the inside of the right boots. Germany have the lead they deserve. Suzuki just taking a slight step to his right before he did go the right way. It was too little, too late. Chance here for Germany to double their lead. To taking in the first place. Japan able to recover. Fantastic time to score as well, just before half-time. It was a goal you felt was coming. From distance, and that's Ubolu. Forced to make another fine save. Really good effort. Wicked little strike there. From uh, Yamada. That's Ubolu. Was called a little wrong-footed there, but did really well to get down and get his fingertips onto that. It came through quite a few players, so saw it very late and came skimming off the surface. And as we've already seen, not the most forgiving of pitches. Comes the cross. Headed on, and Japan have their equaliser. No one picking up Saito at the back post. It's a glancing header on at the near one. And Saito lurking at the back, unmarked, with a free header. And hammers it home from close range. Take another look at it here. Katabach. And Ali do both following the same player there. Header on is from the central defender Nishio. Saito, the firm header, well placed as well. To Bolu, scurrying to get back across, but can't get there in time. It's back to all square. I think it's fair to say it's come against the run of play. Japan won't matter to them one bit. And the breakaway here again, Samurai Blue. Yamamoto. Yamada inside, Yamamoto. Back out wide to Yamada. Uchino. Yamada in an offside position as the ball came his way from his teammate and right back. It didn't look like there was too much in it. That really has thrown a spanner in the works. Be interesting to see how Germany react here. They feel hard done by to be pegged back so quickly. And 
gets a goal, which will only boost the confidence and belief on this Japanese side. Already fizzing the ball around with a little bit more purpose, precision. Stuck in the mud there slightly. That's going to come out looking to find a way through. Nothing wrong with the tackle. And that close there, says the referee. Does blow the whistle eventually. Zaki, the player who came flying in. And that was the opportunity for Japan, which led to the corner they then scored from shortly thereafter. Immediately thereafter, to be more precise. It was a well worked corner, but Germany will feel they could have defended it better. Especially at the back post. Saito allowed to just stroll in unmarked. And Germany paying the price for it. It's now perhaps Kraus looking to feed it out wide to Alidu. Intercepted though. Show of pace there from Suzuki. Tries to centre it. Can't find a teammate and then two German players wiping each other out there. Fortunate coming together. It was Kraus and Keitel. Uh, Hussein Bazic and uh, Katerbach actually. Didn't look too good. Well, the halftime whistle has gone. Hussein Bazic will be seen to in the meantime. Looks like he'll hopefully be able to continue though. And the first uh, 45 in the bag. Japan won. Germany won. Germany, the uh, better side paying the price for a lapsing concentration in defence shortly after taking the lead. Still plenty to play for in the second 45 here in Frankfurt. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with that second half in just a few.
So a warm welcome back as we get ready for the second half to get underway. Germany, it looks like, making just the one change at the break. Still waiting to see exactly what that is. Aster who has come on. A chance here for Japan to take a lead, and what a start to the second half that is for Samurai Blue, who out of the blue are now 2 1 up seconds into this second 45. Oh, well, well. Introduction to the game for Asta. There's Hosoya, the front man. Takes advantage of a poor pass there from the new man. Around the keeper, into the middle, and there is Hosoya. To slot home with ease from close range. A disastrous start to the second 45. Credit to Japan, who were on their toes and ready for anything that came their way, once the opportunity did, wasted no time in taking advantage of it. Oh, what an end to the first and start to the second. Antonio De Salvo's side. He'd only just come on, and I think that was his first touch of the ball as well. Putting his side under pressure. And a poor pass back to Atubolu. Unfortunate introduction to the game. And the number 15 now at right back. Coming on to replace Killian Fisher. And come forward once more down that left side. Simon Asta, the long throw forward. Oh, you do really have to feel for the quite a foot right back. It's the second appearance for the under 19s. Lovely header on. Here is Asta. Can he make amends? The good ball into the box, he surely can! Well, well, well. Hussein Barzic picking up the pieces in the box, but credit to Simon Asta, who is at fault for Japan's second goal. But well and truly played his part in getting Germany back on level terms. And that is great to see as well. Perseverance and mental strength to just keep on going, not let it affect his game. Could have easily done so. A great ball fizzed in. And there was Hussein Bazic right on the penalty spot. Zion Suzuki in goal does get a touch to it, but can't keep it out. 2 2. Second goal in his second appearance. Dennis Hussein Basic, the Cologne youngster. Oh, what a reply. In Germany there. From that man in particular. Take a hat off to you, sir. That's how it's done. A 
blink of an eye, that mistake, and then forgotten. Decent shot there. A decent save from Atu Bolu to deny Hosoya. That would have been his second goal. Gonna take a little more than that to beat Atu Bolu today, though. Now for the header on, here's Nganka, able to control it, looks to settle himself and get the shot off. And he snuck it inside the near post there. A, a real acute angle to work with. Well to get the shot off but just couldn't cut it back enough. Difficult one to take but worth the try. to Bolu, ball forward, Tom Klaus just couldn't control it there but it's picked up well by Jordan Bayer, wide to Simonata, Alidu just letting it run through his legs there, comes off the defender though, out for a throw, great tempo to this game now, inside the first five minutes of this second half. Quite a spectacle for the young fans here in Frankfurt. I get the feeling there are still goals in this yet. Uchino. A bad effort there, you could see what he was trying to do, looking to pick out Yuto Suzuki but just didn't quite have enough bend on it, always oh, travelling closer to Atu Bolu and to his number 10. Atta, another good ball inside. Come with a heavy touch, manages to get there anyway. Credit to Zion Suzuki. And smothers the ball. He had to come out and attack it. Defender unable to really get a tackle in, and that's good goalkeeping. Can come looking more and more dangerous with every attack Here for Germany. the mood for more goals here on his under-21 debut. Pushed away by Suzuki. Kept alive by Knauf. Zian Bisek. Katerbach. He's one in hard and low. Comes back out for a Germany throw. Tackle. Back well though. Atta getting stuck in. 
like it might be a night to forget uh, for Simon Atta when he came on. Since that lapse in concentration, he's been really effective on that right side. Katterbach. Not a bad ball in, but again, a little too close. Uh, Zion Suzuki. Lovely ball there from the Japan goalkeeper. To pick out Fuki Yamada. It's Katterbach. Gets a hold of it and carries the ball forward into the Japanese half. Oh, fantastic ball. Definitely not on oh, offside, should I say, there. Aride Alidu. Just couldn't pluck the ball out of the air. Difficult one. Ball bouncing all over the place there at the feet. Zion Suzuki. Did well to get the ball away. Just run out of play before Katerbach can get there. Definitely the right idea. from Yamamoto but slightly away from Yuichi Suzuki Fujita and uh, Matsumura uh, getting ready to come on uh, for Japan. There's Oiwa Go. So he's to make some changes of his own. Some fresh legs out there. And over half an hour still to go. Still plenty of football to be played. At the moment, it's one way traffic with Germany really dominating proceedings since scoring that equaliser. play. Touch from Katerbach as well. Quickly closed down but does win the throw. Japan will now be given time to make that double substitution. Yamada, the first player to make way. Matsumura. Kawasaki will be coming off as well. Gita coming on to replace it. from Yamamoto, he's losing his footing, he's trying to control the ball, with the free kick just inside their own half, Baya back to Atobolu,
smart little header back there. Just glancing it off the top. Of the noggin there. Jordan Bayer. Tobolu happy to play it short. Gets it back from his captain, Yannick Keitel. Matabach floats inside. Enough pace on that ball. Quickly though. There we go for Gili Kato. Layoff and a lovely cut back chance here. Oh, Hussein Bazic with a heavy touch there. Trying to just caress it over onto his left foot. Maybe taking it first time, really. Very nearly scoring his second goal. Germany's third. Again, Sion Suzuki does well to get across and make himself big, but. The most uh, vicious of efforts in the end from Hussein Bazic. A really good opportunity though. From Japan. A chance out of nothing. Moto out wide. Yuta Suzuki. Runs into trouble. Defending as Simonata runs the ball away from danger. Germany win the throw as well to just relieve that pressure, even if it was only a moment of it. There's another look at that chance for Hussein Barzic. I still think he could have taken that first time. Inside of the right boot, just hammer it towards goal. Good fortune. Japan as the ball just found its way to Hijiri Kato. Couldn't quite get enough height on the cross. Offside there. Ito Suzuki. Barzic unable to get back on side in time.
great ball out wide. Picked up by Saito. Can't come up with the goods shortly thereafter. Too happy with that decision. And look to uh, take the free kick as quickly as possible. It's Fujita held on to it. I think in Germany though. Fujita once more. Lovely ball inside. Chance here for Japan. Can't get the shot off though. Similar to the chance for Hussein Bazic at the other end. Again, should he be taking it first time? There's the layoff. A swing at it. Credit to Jan Bisek there who pops out a leg and does enough to deal with it. Simulata. And he cross it towards the edge of the penalty area. Comes back out to Alidou. Challenge. Mata there. Hijiri Kato. Is it Takashi Uchino? It's hard to tell from here. There it is Kato. Spin down. Both players are feeling the effect of crunching coming together. Equalizer to make it 2 2. Thumbs up from Hussein Bazic. Could have had himself a brace, really. Overall, a solid display from the German midfielder. out of play. Tracks there, but Keitel just is firing with that through ball for Knauf. As well to get a challenge in, though. Stop Japan from venturing forward in any sort of way. Bach. Last few minutes, just uh, a little bit scrappy from both sides here. Both teams eager to try and get a winner. Both teams have shown already that they're more than capable of doing so.
So Jamie Leveling and uh, Maurice Malone. Coming on now for Germany. And Gunkup will make way. The performance uh, from the number nine on his debut. And a goal to boot as well. Farideh Olidu will join him on the bench. Maurice Malone with just a second appearance. The under 21 side. Cap number 10 for Jamie Leveling, the Union Berlin youngster. to Atta. Another great cross in. And then, well, slight misunderstanding there between Hussein Barzic and Ansgar Knauf. The touch from Hussein Barzic just putting Knauf off as he was winding up the shot. Another great delivery from Simon Atta from out on that right side. He really has been electric up and down that right flank. Quarter of an hour still to go here in Frankfurt. Yamamoto. Check a little nutmeg there from the Japanese captain. Since that coming together with Simon Atta. Receive some treatment here. I'd be surprised to see him coming off as well. It looked like Japan were getting ready to make another three substitutions. as well and she can't what one of the uh, players coming on more to make way as well I'll do my best to get all the substitutions to you as they come to me as well and a few of them in the process Germany making a triple substitution of their own still are coming on 
to Martel. Is making way. Let's go, Knauf. We'll see his evening come to an end as well. Nice hopped. Coming on to replace it. Now, a nice hopped. The young man from Freiburg. Making just his second appearance. Suzuki doing it off to inside a corner. In the mix again there. This time Uchino wins the corner for Japan. Delivery and there you are, Nishio. Chance at a free header is Nishikawa. Maurice Malone does well to win the free kick and just relieve a little bit of pressure. Across to Bayer. There's Marta and Katterbach. The pressure straight away. Picked up by Bayer. Back with Atubolu. Alone with the header on. And now a chance for Vice Hopes. A really good show of pace there. Composure with the finish as well, but couldn't get it past the impressive Zion Suzuki in between the sticks for Japan. Great header and then off the thigh to get it forward and into a goal scoring position. Great control, balance as well. And to play it back across the keeper, textbook attempt there on Vice Hopped. Just didn't have enough on it to beat Suzuki in goal. Floated ball over the top. Malone does well. And the half volley. Could have perhaps centered it, but decides to go it alone. Actually labeling there, excuse me. As Malone to his right as an option. Final 10 minutes now. Things are starting to open up at both ends, really. A bit of fatigue starting to set in. 
Some of the players perhaps, although plenty of fresh legs out there as well for both sides. Pisek with the layoff. Pisek now on the captain's armband. Katabach. It's too much on that one, I think. Offside the decision anyway. Barzic felt he'd done enough to time his run. Felt he was still going to get there as well. Throw and taken quickly. Nice turn there from Bisek. Powering forward through the middle, out wide to Katerbach. Early ball in. Put it away. Not over yet, though. Germany able to hold on to the ball inside the Japanese half. Not for long, though. We'll have another chance here with the throw. Germany corner. It's been a nuisance out on that right side, hasn't it? See on that up. See on that up. Excuse me. So it's coming on to replace Killian Fisher. Finger tipped away there by Suzuki. Ball in, punched away from Suzuki once more. Here's Asta. Back with Bayer. Germany patiently looking to find a breakthrough here and a winner. Understanding, Hussein Barzic and Luis Malone not quite on the same page there. Well, we're looking to just flick it on for the latter. There is Asta again. Another good delivery. A decent attempt. The header there. And Noah Weiss helped. It would have been on target as well, but the block making sure it wasn't goal bound. Here come Germany again. Leveling this time, floating in the cross. He's looked really good since coming on. Really energetic off the bench. More substitutions. Coming now, it's going to be Luca Metz and uh, Patrick Osterhage. Coming in for Germany. Katerbach and Hussein Barzic, the two players sacrificed. Strong displays from both. Raoka. Oh, no. Raoka. Oh, no. Oh, no. For Japan, who 
Yeah, almost have a, a fresh 11 out there. Leverley keeps the ball in play. Battle out on that far side. Leverley still in possession. Very nearly dancing his way past two or three Japanese players and into a dangerous position. forward for Japan here. Do they have enough support in the middle though? Like an interception there by Luca Nets. As well not to go flying in with a tackle or anything. Too dangerous. Germany with a corner to defend now though. comes in all shapes and sizes Great to see families young and old enjoying themselves here in Frankfurt Nishikawa to take the corner left footed outward swing it Dancing header on we've seen Japan score from something similar already here tonight left to Atobolu it's the ball rolling run on the overlap flick on from labeling it's out for a throw nice help trying to get the cross in very closely marked there Time running out for both sides here. I suppose you could argue Germany probably deserve to come away with a win overall, but take nothing away from Japan's performance. Doing their best to be a nuisance and taking their chances when they've come their way. Had far fewer than Germany. They've been a, a little more effective. More clinical, perhaps a better use of wording there. minutes of a stoppage time for the end of proceedings here this evening hopeful ball forward down by Weishaupt can't carry it forward into a shooting position there back well by Nets Weishaupt again head up straight away tries to centre it for Malone but just couldn't get any curl on it to bring it back into the forward path of Maurice Malone there. That was clever from Simon Asta. He was under pressure, just waiting for any sort of a Contact there from behind, quick to go down, it was a foul but he was playing for it, intelligent play. Nearly 
he just skimmed off the surface. Well, surface, should I say, and over the top. Top by Leverling. Come away with it. Up the free kick on the halfway line. And we'll challenge on Malone. Speaking quickly, Luca Nets. One two with nice hops. Nets then runs into trouble. Nothing wrong with that, says the referee. And try to break quickly in the other direction. Kishigawa. Martha does well to get back and across. Great covering there. Time just about up here in Frankfurt. A really good test here. Antonio De Salvo's side. A roller coaster of a match. And it's ups and it's downs. Germany taking a lead and thought they would take it with them into the half time break. But then a disastrous end to the first half and start to the second. Saw them trailing by a goal all of a sudden. But did really well to dig deep. Find that equaliser to make sure they do not uh, suffer defeat. Credit where credit is due. Japan giving a really good account of themselves as well. They remain undefeated against Germany in this age category. And uh, now one more test. And 90 minutes of preparation for Antonio De Salvo's side on Tuesday when they take on Romania in what will be their last game before they head off to the European Championships in the summer to defend their title that's all from us here this evening we hope you have enjoyed yourselves until next time stay safe and take care